Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah. It's Tuesday. It's our last full day in London. It's our last full day, and it is a blistery day, as Winnie the Pooh would say. Blustery day in the Hundred Acre Woods. Blustery, blistery, blustery. So today is our last day. We have a show we're going to tonight. We're gonna to go see the Phantom of the Opera because it's a classic. Yeah, and it was like Ooh. 24 bucks to see it. Yeah, so cheap. Such good price. So we're gonna go see that tonight. We're going to this place called the Sky Garden. Mm -hmm. We have a, like, a reservation to get up to it. It's supposed to have beautiful views of the city. So hopefully these clouds kinda scooch along during the day. <laughs> right now we're actually trying to find a library because we are flying tomorrow morning, super, super early to Naples. And we just found out we think we need to print our boarding passes, which you like, never have to do anymore. Really confusing if we print them at the airport, it kind of seems like they may charge us and we don't want to pay for someone else to print Hashtag that. Hashtag so, budget airlines. Yeah, that's our goal right now is finding a library. And then we're going to a market to get some breakfast. And then I think we're going to the London Museum? The Museum of London? Uh, yes. Museum, museum about yeah. London. Yeah. Got some library cards. So cool. Success! <clears throat> we love libraries. Honestly, travel hack. If you need to look something up and you don't have Wi-Fi or internet, or you need to print something, go to a library. They're always so helpful. Yep. And they'll like make it work for you. Like here you supposedly needed to live in this area, but she's print. like, oh, that's okay. You can just sign up as a guest. She was so sweet. <laughs> we're and now then, members. Yeah, we now have library, library cards, which is so nice. <laughs> like that's so exciting. Mm -hmm. And it's normally like 10 or 20 cents per page. Yeah, So pretty nice. Way better than going to like a print shop or something. Yeah. And you can just get onto your own email, take care of it all and then you get yeah. to hang out in the library and they normally have Wi-Fi and stuff too. So yeah. going to the market. Yeah. And I'm really excited because it's like 10.30 and we haven't had breakfast. Yeah. Also, this is one of the oldest markets in the world. Really? There has been a market on this location since 1200. Same idea. Maybe it wasn't market. called the same market, but people have been Marketing. needing to sell their wares. We are at Borough Market. Lots of food. I'm it's hungry. Right under the London Bridge. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. We found a haven, a bread haven. I kind of want a loaf of sourdough. I kind of agree. What did you sample? I bread. Don't know. Bread with some seeds in it. Found a bread sample and a tea sample. That cart is filled with fudge. There's bread, there's pastries, there's fudge. It's literally all of my favorite things. There's tea. Freaking out, Dave. She's freaking out. I'm freaking it out. really is. I thought that this was all of it, but apparently this is just the entryway. It goes all the way back there, and there's so many more. Woo! All right, we're moving on. We're going through the tunnel. The second wing. Yeah, this is like the main enchilada over here. We just tried this banana cake. I don't even like banana bread, but that was insane. Like, I kind of want to buy that. Oh, ooh, juice, juice bar. I'm gonna go. I got a juice that's carrot, apple, and ginger. And then she said she could put oranges in it, too. Looks good. It's very orange. So it's delicious. You, you would, might like it. <laughs> it's delicious. I'm shocked. <laughs> Did you think it was going to be bad? Or you were nervous? Yeah, I just thought the carrots and the ginger might make it weird. That's really good. Spicy. No, it's not spicy. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. The ginger's very subtle, yeah. which is good. Got some matcha. Came to the bird in the blend the other day and I got a matcha and I was obsessed, so uh, it was came right back. by the market, came back. <laughs> Courtney got one too. I did. I got suckered in. I love matcha. <laughs> yes. We found this Argentine place called Portena. Portena. Josh got some beef empanadas, which he's stoked one on. Beef. Oh, you just got one? Yeah. Okay. And then they have these cookies that are like shortbready cookies filled with dulce de leche. They're called alfajores. Alfajores. We got two of those because, yeah. That was the first like Argentine empanada I've had since leaving Argentina. That was actually Argentine. I like it. I just got an almond croissant and a banana cake. It's kind of like yeah. banana bread, but um, really, really good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like the best banana bread in the whole world. And it's from Oliver's Bakery. Olivier. Oh, Olivier's Bakery. 
all the signs were in French and he was speaking French, so I think it's legit French and I'm <laughs> so excited to eat it. It was only two, two, two fifty for the almond croissant, which yeah. I feel like in the States an almond croissant's like five bucks. And not as good. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> and almonds and powdered sugar. And powdered sugar. sugar. It's so soft too. <laughs> <laughs> It went from like almost anger to tears. That is the best almond croissant I've ever had. Like not to you after tried it. Yeah, it kind of tastes like an apple pie to me. It's so good. It's not overly sweet. Yeah, but it's just overly incredible. incredible. Yeah. Left the market, took the train like two stops-ish. Now we're going to the Museum of London, which what we've read has all the history of London. Made it in and a nice lady at the front told us how it works. So it starts from like oldest Stone Age. Stone Age to modern, which is yeah. downstairs. And it's free, no tickets, but there's different places around that you can donate if you would like. They had bison, they had hippos, they had lions here. That's so crazy because those, now you see those <clears throat> in such different climates. No. That's a woolly mammoth food. That thing is huge. They had metal working like 900 BC. That's insane. This museum is so interesting. We're learning all about the Roman Empire and all their invasions. And just looking at these maps, like you don't really think about how far the Romans traveled to conquer like, everything. And we were just saying we'd never thought about them conquering London, but this is part of the Roman Empire. It's crazy. Also, Josh found a toy. I found a scale. You hang things here, you hang things here, and it weighs stuff. This is worth two farthings. This wall out there is part of the original wall of the city of London. When the Romans invaded, they built a wall around the city, city yeah. right? And they created the first city in the area. Yeah. First they settled apparently where like the tribal capital was, but then seven years later they made the settlement of Londonica. Is that what it was? Something like that. Just kidding. It was called Londinium. This is a firefighter helmet from the 1660s. It's actually pretty comfy. It's huge. It's a made of leather. Leather. This is a bucket that they used. Oh, it's so heavy. London, they couldn't catch a break, man. They had a plague. Multiple plagues. Then they had another plague. Then as soon as they were recovered from the plague, they had a great fire. Yeah, living in a city is like a good way to die back in the Middle Ages. Yeah, their air quality, non-existent. Look at that. That was the first gas-powered taxi in the world. Yep. Pretty cool. Car. I'd drive it. <laughs> We're at the museum cafe and we've been seeing this thing around London called a baby chino. Yeah, we have no idea what it is. Yep. Yeah. But it's only 30 pence. So I just got one. I think it might just be like milk with something like chocolate on top. Like hot milk with chocolate on top. Really? Yeah. Did you watch her make it? Yeah, she didn't put any coffee. It's so small. It's hot milk with chocolate on top. This is my baby chino. Well, I haven't had dairy milk in so long. Yeah, it's just like steamed milk home and then like a chocolate sprinkle. That's so funny. I wonder if ki like who's supposed to get these? Can kids get them? A baby chino? 30p for that. I'd be happy as a kid. That was a really cool museum, you guys. Yeah. It was nice. fun. And it's cool because they don't have tickets. You just donate whatever you can. Mm -hmm. But it was cool. We learned a lot mm -hmm. and like refreshed on some history that we <laughs> knew but like kind of forgot about. You know how that happens? A classic yeah. tale. <laughs> a classic tale when you go into a history museum. <laughs> but would recommend. It was really cool. And now we're going to go find some salads. Yep. That's our next goal. Mission accomplished. Found a build your own salad. Chopped. Yeah. One free like premium item and then four free veggie items and you pick a base. And they had quinoa. Yeah, I quinoa love quinoa and salads. Pretty confident that's St. Paul's. So we've seen this place chopped on our map a few days. We're trying to find food, but they've always been closed. So yeah. we finally found one that was open today. It's because they're always in like business areas. Yeah. Hmm. Sitting on the steps of the cathedral. Peppers, tomatoes, Carrots, egg, those are my four for, like cheap yeah, toppings. Yeah, egg was an extra. Egg was a cheap topping. So you can and get then, that as your protein. Mm -hmm. And then I got feta for my premium top, premium, premium. premium <laughs> topping. And then my base was like mixed greens and quinoa. Mm-hmm, that was good. a good salad. I got mixed greens, quinoa, carrots, edamame, and an egg. And then the sesame soy dressing. Mm. <laughs> I've been craving a salad too. Mm -hmm. We've been having a ton of like bread, sugar. Mm -hmm. Came around to the front of St. Paul's. Look at that. 
That clock is huge. There's guys working up there, which is so funny to see. But that is insane. St. Paul's that was rebuilt in the 1700s, we just learned about this, and the museum. The original one was built when? Like 600 maybe. But that one burned in the Great London Fire. So they rebuilt this one in the 1700s. Yep. Like 100 years after it burned, I think is what I remember. Whoa, you can't even see the top. We're going all the way to the top of that. Sky Garden? If you reserve tickets in advance, you can go to this place called the Sky Garden. There's someone standing really close to you. I don't know who that is. And you... But we both went to Oxford. That's true. But he has <laughs> the wrong colors. Yeah, so we booked tickets in advance, and supposedly you can go to the top floor, and it's like a super cool view of London, and it was free. That's the clutch part. So, let's go see how it works. Yeah, let's go see how it works. We're up on the Sky Garden. It's awesome. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The London Eye is over there. Just straight out in front of us is the Shard. There's the Tower Bridge. Insane. Why did we even go in the London Eye? Remember that time when we used to think the London Eye was tall? <laughs> I'm obsessed with this place. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, the sun just came out. This is so crazy. Wow. This is the inside. There's all of these beautiful plants, this huge lobby, and it's just all windows. Wow, 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 wow. Looking out, you've got the Tower Bridge and boom, Tower of London, insane. It's like a rainforest up in her. Wow, it's so cool. Guys, it's like we're in super classy rainforest cafe. Yeah. Goodbye, prettiest place, best views ever. Wow. We're grabbing food real fast before the show. We went to this place called Byron Proper Burgers. And it is a proper burger. I got nuggets and french fries. <laughs> Dave got a proper burger. They're inspired by the Great West. Just finished eating. We're about to go to the show. In Her Royal Majesty's Theater. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Okay guys, we're ending this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed our time in London. We just got to the airport. So if you want to see what's going on with the airport right now, make sure you're subscribed and that your bell notification is on so that you never miss one of our videos. We're heading to Naples. Bye. Or hopefully get some breakfast. It's like, I think it's, I think they said 12, it's, Sorry, I am not saying anyone. <laughs> there. Wow, oh, That's crazy. so windy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Wow, wow, wow.